Welcome to the channel everybody and thank you so much for joining me. Today is a very special day. It is October 21st and I have just installed the brand new DLC from Wimworld. This is the Biotech DLC and as you can see we've got the background here all selected. Uh, I've gone through and I've uh, set up a few little things to speed us along but we are going to jump into a brand new playthrough and we are going to be doing vanilla. There are no mods here. A bunch of stuff's outdated so we're just going right for a good old fashioned vanilla playthrough. Um, so let's jump into a new colony. Now, as you might have guessed, I'm going to go with the Mechanator scenario. I played around with the idea of doing a Sanguophage, but uh, maybe that'll be our next playthrough. But right now, we've got to go with the Mechanator here. Um, everything you can see is pretty straightforward. The Lifter, the Constructoid, the two little Mechanoids that we come with, we'll get into those once we get on the map. Um, we get five basic subcores, basically allow us to go ahead and construct a, you know, a few more of the Mechanoids. And as you can see, we do start with a few researches. So let's move on. Now for this one, I'm definitely going with Randy Random. Normally I would play losing as fun commitment mode. Um, I think we're gonna go to Blood and Dust though, just cause I wanna get a full like playthrough with all the new stuff. So I don't wanna be dying within the first 10 episodes or something. Maybe later on we'll bump it up. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so for the seed, it's going to be Hardware Despair, the name of the channel. And let's go ahead and bump this up to the full full population limit. This is a good selection. I've gone through and I was looking earlier. There's a few that aren't here, but like a, a straight up pirate gang has been replaced by the Edekin e e pirates and the Waster pirates. So we're getting a good taste of all the new stuff here with the Neanderthals, the pig union, and... Um, of course, the mechanoid and the mechanoid hive is going to be present with all the new mechs and everything. So this gives us a good selection of the factions. And I'm going to have the seed and all the information down in the description too, guys. So if you want to play along, you can check down there for all the info. So let's get this generated. Shouldn't take too long. And I did go through and I found a nice little map tile that I like. So let me go to 19.09 north by 9.75 west. Uh, I'm going to locate that position and I'll be right back guys. All right, you guys. So we're all the way down here at the very southern end of the uh, temperate forest zone. You'll see I've got one little uh, square here. It's not a square. Um, one little tile selected and it is temperate forest. It's mountainous, granite and marble. We have a year round growing season. Uh, and of course, I'm going to bump this up to the standard size that I usually go with, which is medium 275 by 275. Now I'm choosing a relatively easier map tile because we don't want to be fighting, you know, the environment while we're also trying to learn all the new stuff with the DLC. So we're going to take a little bit easy year round growing makes it very nice so let's jump into this map um, i do have a ideology already prepared so let me load that up real quick it is the legion here i just went through and uh let me show it to you guys actually if we go to create custom the next and if i load it from this screen i can show it to you okay so it's a supremacist transhumanist and human primacy um i i really thought hot, long and hard about not going with transhumanist but i'm like it just seems to fit you know so well so i it's a pain in the butt you know once you get later on because you got to do the age reversal the body mod the neural supercharge the sleep accelerator but you know, it, all in all, I think it will kind of be a lot more in theme for a Mechanator playthrough. So that's the memes we're going with. And in terms of our precepts, you know, pretty standard. I've got it so we don't care about corpses. Uh, we can definitely use organs as acceptable. Slavery is acceptable. Research is normal. Don't need any head start. Um, so it's pretty standard, you know, not, nothing too special there. Our roles, we have the leader, the moral guide, uh, the production specialist is a must. And I, I flip-flop between a research and a shooting specialist, but I ended up going with the shooter because, um, well, you'll see in a second, our, our main character is going to have a little bonus to their research speed. So I figured probably better to have a separate shooting specialist then. Um, rituals, I always do the same thing with my rituals. I go with the six easiest um, and in terms of the uh, editing conditions here, it's always any time and it's always a random recruit. So every one of these is the same. It's always a random recruit uh, as a reward and it's whenever I specify. That's the best setup for me personally and I think for most players if you want to control it. 
have have maximum control and the buildings all straightforward relics i tried to keep them in theme with like uh mechanoids but there wasn't much else there everything else is pretty standard so you know we have an ideology but it's nothing too special it's not going to dominate the playthrough hopefully um, we want to focus more on the new content now here's the fun part i'm going to go through and find a person that we can start a single player colony with you know or a single person colony with they're gonna have to be a pretty special pawn but uh, give me a few minutes guys and i will show you what i come up with okay i'll be right back all right you guys well i have created a xenotype if you haven't gone through this men menu yet i suggest you spend a few minutes here um, you can access it right down here at the bottom a xenotype editor uh, I made a custom, so I'm going to load that up. It's called the No Sleep Smarty Pants. And a pretty self-explanatory title there, but let's go through it anyway. So the, the big ones are the fact that this is a low sleep pawn. They're going to they're gonna have a genotype, which allows them to sleep very little. It's not no sleep, but it's low sleep. Um, and to kind of compensate for that, their body is very delicate. So they are basically a wimp. You know, they're like got that permanent wimp trait. Um, and in addition to balance that, I thought, hey, we can throw in the weak melee damage because they're not going to be getting into melee. So that was like a gimme right there. Um, that gave us a little bit more metabolic efficiency to play with. Uh, basically, what you want to try and avoid is getting too much of this because the metabolic efficiency, efficiency will uh, dictate how much food your person needs. So if I took that one off right there, you'll see that that boosts the hunger rate. So you kind of want to balance this out if possible. Um, let's go back here. So this person is basically uh, low sleep with great intellectual and they're awful at animals, poor cooking and weak melee to compensate for those two bonus traits basically is how that works. So I'm really anxious to see how little sleep they need. This is going to be cool sleep rate, sleep fall rate times 40%. So we'll see what that translates to in you know, actual gameplay time. Um, and of course, great intellectual, like I said, this is going to kind of compensate here. Uh, for the fact that we don't have a research specialist hit my main player and any offspring that he has has a chance to inherit this gene xenotype because down here i've selected genes are heritable all right so we're gonna go ahead and close that out as you can see you do need to whenever you go to one of your pawns you got to come up here and select the if you've created one you need to select it or if you want to go with one of the custom pre-mades you can do that too but it will randomize the pawn when you do that so be just be aware of that you're gonna if you have somebody selected that's a baseline that you really like well you're gonna lose that pawn when you're gonna switch it to something else but anyway, um, our pawn that I've finally settled on is Larson here. He's a quarry worker. Um, of course, he's intellectual. Cooking and animals, that's part of the xenotype. He won't be able to do much of that. Um, but other than that, he's kind of an all-arounder. He's uh, for construction, for plant, for crafting, you know, so those are not great, but he can at least, he's somewhat, you know, comparable or capable in that skill, but he's also a miner. Um, so I figured that's probably a good one considering we're on a mountainous map. We're going to need that eventually. But uh, other than that, he's pretty straightforward. He's got a few injuries here. But man, let's jump into it, guys. I am so ready to get going. Shouldn't take long to generate the map since we don't have any mods to load up. <laughs> that's one of the benefits of having a no mod playthrough is the loading speed. It goes real fast. There we are. You knew you could only achieve greatness with help. People were too unreliable. So you chose to take on mechanoids as your servants, workers, and warriors. As you gained strength, others became fearful. It became clear you needed to get away from the influence of humanity. Now you've migrated to this sparsely populated rim world with some of the, so with some of your metallic helpers. Finally, you have the space to grasp your two true potential. Now, Larson does have a trait, and I'm assuming this is part of the mechanist start, is he's a recluse. So the fewer people in his faction, the happier he's going to be. Now, obviously, we can't just go the whole playthrough with one person, so we're going to have to be ultra-selective about, I think, who we bring on board, which is cool with me. Normally, I am kind of picky about who we, you know, bring on board, but this playthrough, it's going to matter even more. All right, so let me do a few little housekeeping things with the map. I always like to lay that out. Now, we've got a nice big old patch of fertile soil here and here, so that's great. Um, we've got this area, which is somewhat 
enclosed with some hills and mountains. So we'll probably set up a base right inside this little spot here. Um, there's also some decent building materials right here. We can take down, what is this, steel? Yeah, steel, steel there. We do have plenty of good resources to start with. Um, the steel and mech uh, components we have here though, we probably will be using a lot of that to construct mechanoids. So having these extra little buildings on the map is gonna be very helpful for sure. All right, so let's take a look at our guy here. There's Larson. Let him move around, and here's our two little mechanoids. We got a constructoid, number one, and we got a lifter, number two. So pretty self-explanatory. This guy actually does have a weapon on him, the slug thrower, a compact single-shot slug thrower designed to be mounted on the light combat mechanoid. So in addition to constructing stuff, he'll protect us a little bit. I don't think the lifter can do too much. Probably has some melee capabilities. I don't know. We'll try that, so we'll see what happens. And Larson, of course, is a wimp, so we don't want him fighting too much if he can avoid it. Let's go into our work tab, set some priorities up. Very good. Um, I definitely want him to make plant cutting. Any plants that I order him to cut, I want that to be a priority. Other than that, he can stay just as is. There's not too much to do there. Um, I'm going to set him back really far so he's not sleeping when he doesn't need to be. Or laying in bed, or you know, not sleeping at all. All right, let's go and just look at our drug policy. I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to allow Ambrosia and Psychite. I prefer those over Smoke Leaf, um, so we'll stick with that. We're not going to use Smoke Leaf if avoidable. All right, everything else is probably pretty good. Oh, one last thing is to make sure he can self tend. He's not much of a medic, but. Uh, yeah, he's only got one, so that's going to be something we really need to look for as a medic. But uh, he still has to sell 10, so. Um, let's see if we can harvest up some medicine, too, while we're thinking about it. And maybe some berries as well. That's good. Just a little bit of medicine. All right, and he's not going to be able to plant the medicine himself, unfortunately, because he's still pretty low. But... Um, what I think I'll do is I'll have him lay out a patch of Psychite. And he's going to get practice, you know, in the garden basically with this. Oh, he's not even able to do this because that's a, I think he is only a level four. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just have him get some skill with, I guess we'll go with rice. We don't really need the food now, but I just want to get him a little bit of skill at it. Just in case we don't get anybody for a while who can, you know, plant the stuff we need, eventually he'll get good enough to do it. All right, so let's set up a stockpile zone. We're going to have to figure out basically where we want to have our first little room. I'm thinking maybe centralized somewhere over here. Maybe I guess we can do it up inside this place. It'll be helpful to have it mostly pre-built as it is. All right, yeah, we'll make this our little stockpile room. And let me go ahead and claim all this stuff here so they'll start repairing it. We'll claim that. And I think I'm gonna come through here and deconstruct most of the other stuff here. And we'll, we'll rebuild it. All right, that should be good enough to get them started. The lifter, yep, there he goes. The lifter's starting to move stuff. Larson's doing a little bit of plant harvesting. We got a stinking rat over here. Get that thing out of here. Now Larson, oh, okay, Larson started with an auto pistol. Oh, a masterwork, wow. And it's bio-coded, cool, cool. So yeah, we definitely need to go ahead and work on getting our space enclosed here. So did I set, yeah, Larson will construct and deconstruct. It's just right now he's more preoccupied with the harvesting. I'm going to cancel the bushes because really don't really need the food. That's just going to take up too much time. But I do want him to get some medicine. Oh, guess what? Oh, we don't need it. Well, we do probably need it because we only have 10 of them. All right, we'll just continue on with our plan. I didn't even notice that. We have a little stack of 10 medicine. <laughs> that won't last long though. 10 medicines. That's like two raids worth of medicine pretty much. 
All right, so the Constructoid, he's working. Um, as you can see, you can assign them to groups and stuff. I don't think we need to worry about that right now, considering we only have two mechanoids, but uh, as we get more and more. Now, you'll see, in order to increase our population of mechanoids, his bandwidth is going to be need is needed is going to be needing to be increased eventually. So um, to do that, you come down here to the biotech tab and you're going to want to do the band node right there. I believe this will turn on. Yeah, this will to a, tune to a specific mechanator. This will add one bandwidth. So you have one of these for one specific particular mechanator. All right. And we got a pollution pump. This will clean an area that's polluted and turn the, the excess pollution into the little pollution packs. This is where we gestate and create new ones, new mechanoids. Um, this is where they charge up here. So we're going to need one of these right away, probably. This will be one of the first things we build. So our little guys, our little buddies there can get recharged. All right. Looks like Larson has just about finished hauling in that... Uh, the uh what's it called herbal medicines there uh let's see if we can get him to help out our constructor because i would like him to get a little bit of practice over here with the construction so let's set that to a two. Oh, good he's working on taking this thing down yeah we don't need that larson is laying on the ground looking at the clouds or something so that tells me he probably needs some recreation wait do we have wood we do Throw that down for our good friend. Furniture. The room's pretty crappy, so let's go ahead and give him an end table. Maybe that'll help him up, up his uh, sleep a little bit. He doesn't need a lot of sleep, but, you know, we want the little sleep he does to get, we want it to be comfortable. Okay, we'll throw a dresser in there, too. That should help. All right, very nice. It's not much, but this is his little room. It's not quite complete either. We need more granite, don't we? Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, there's granite right there. All right, looking good. Well, let's see here. Oh, where's our other little drone? Don't tell me he's like, I, I can't, it's hard for me to keep jabs on him. Hold it, what's up here? All right, they're both hard at work. I just, uh, you know, just want to be sure. Their energy bars are really low, but... <laughs> I'm so nervous about them running out of power. I just, I, I'm anxious to see them. Oh, no. I'm anxious to see them get recharged here. Um... Okay, so let's go look at it. Bring these guys inside. Larson, come on in. Okay. Get these squirrels over here. They might uh, hit our traps. We'll see. I want to see actually if the constructoid can shoot at them too. We're kind of in an awkward s spot from where we're at, but. There's one, two. All right, cool. Um, and I guess these were outside our home zone. Got to rebuild them. No worries. Set that squirrel up for hunt. All right, good to go. And do, do, do. let's go ahead and chop a little bit of wood down so we can keep those uh, traps rebuilt as needed. All right, very good. Speed time up here. Did he build that little... Okay, we do have the horseshoe pen. That's important. We don't want our friend here getting getting frustrated because he has no recreation all right so this little guy i really wish he would just go and <laughs> recharge is he recharging if i do that probably not i'll just i'll let things go if i'm hoping that it works properly we'll see we'll see Alright guys, well I know it doesn't look like too much, but I did take a little bit of time to try and figure out exactly where I wanted everything set up. Uh, this is just kind of a preliminary layout, but um, you can see I've got some walls down here set up. This is where we're going to wall off the side of the base here. 
Also, we got a little wall here I'm gonna install. And then we're gonna set up our trap funnel right here. They'll enter this way and they'll come around the corner and down this corner and through here. And this is where they'll exit into the base. So we'll need to set up a row of uh, basically some defensive positions, probably about, let's see if we do about 13 or so. 13 from the entrance. Yeah, then we'll put, um, We'll put it about right here-ish or so. Uh, this will be our defensive wall where we'll have our column of sand. Um, so I'll leave that line up there, but this is going to be our large barracks set up for efficiency sake. Right now we are gonna go with a barracks set up. Um, so we're gonna set that up. This is where our colonists will sleep and probably research, at least in the beginning. Um, and I'll probably attach like a little dining room slash rec room back here or something. Um, and then over here, we're gonna have our two stockpile areas. So eventually we're gonna have two large stockpile rooms and uh, we'll set up like a production room on the side of it over here, you know. We probably won't need a kitchen. I mean, maybe we will have one just for certain special meals and stuff, but we will mostly be using nutrient paste, you know. So uh, we'll have a few of those scattered throughout the colony and that'll take care of most of our food needs, I think. Um, but like I said, maybe we will have a cook or two just so they can prepare some some special items or something, I don't know. Uh, but for now, this is pretty good. I think we want to go ahead and probably worry about getting this set up, the sleeping area, and also the, the walls. Now, oh look, he's charging. Oh, awesome. He waited till like real low, didn't he? Yeah, they wait till they're very, very low, but that's cool. I mean, as long as I know that he's gonna properly do it. God, look how long it takes him to energize. curious here how long he's going to be out of commission while this energizes maybe it doesn't fill up while he's there i don't know because it really doesn't look like it's increasing at all does it i see it's going up very slowly i have a feeling we're going to need a second one of these oh he's failing like every other one <laughs> that's okay Lars, buddy i don't hold it against you my friend you'll get it you'll get it very nice. All right, let's lay this out under our zone. Perfect. Looking good. Um, yeah, let's put these up too. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, and also, we don't want our little horseshoe pin getting burned down. Good old Larson working into the night. You gotta love it. You gotta love that light sleep. I think the Xeno, the Xeno frame or whatever the heck it's called. Oh, Cancer party. I love the addition of that. Being able to basically tailor your pawns a little bit. It's a pretty cool option. Uh, oh, what is his need? Oh, he's constantly in intense pain. Still says he slept in the cold, so I guess I'll turn this on again. Oh, let's see who we're facing here. The Cancer party. What are you, my friend? Teenage Drifter from... Are you a human, though? Female Teenage Drifter, Cancer Party, Genie. What is this? Decide to be engineers. Oh. A natural aptitude with machines? Okay, okay. That person might fit in well. Yeah, they're a wimp and delicate, which so is our person. Jealous is kind of sucky. Yeah, Jealous won't work in a setup where we have a barracks going. Wait, wait, wait. Is that right? No, 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 no. I think Jealous will be negated in a setup where we don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Jealous doesn't matter then. It's Greedy that you don't want. Yeah. Greedy doesn't work in a, a barracks setup, but Jealous is like, doesn't matter at all. You know what, guys? We might actually try and capture this person. Okay, so are they attacking immediately? No, they're going to prepare for a while. Okay, so what we're going to do is set ourselves a little prison. Just build a tiny little, like, horrible prison here. Right there. That's our prison. Um, come here, Larson. I want you to work on this first, dude. Because if we down her without killing her, this is where we're going to put her. Let's just have Larson hide in here. Hopefully the traps will take this person out. She is a wimp, so. Wimp and delicate. Yeah, this person. 
even gets like, you even breathe on this person, they're gonna get killed. Oh, oh, get inside, Larson. going whoa and she's fast oh no oh no she might get in there with us let's go around here <laughs> I was gonna say she's gonna hit that trap if she follows us Woo all right so she died that sucks but we'll bring all this in um, extract the skull I guess I'm just gonna set oh I did set up a dumping zone okay we'll just stick the bodies over there okay well that was too bad that we had to kill her but whatever all right yeah so our construction constructoid he's back at it awesome welcome back buddy glad you got yourself all charged up Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove our zoning since we don't need that anymore. Beautiful. So we got our first room built. Uh, oh, almost built. I think we're going to go ahead and slap down a uh, research bench. Put that in here. Oh, also I'm going to need to bring... Oh, no. Forgot all about zoning this up. I guess I'll just zone our whole garden area. Okay, Larson. Sorry, buddy. Get out of here. Now, I don't think these guys will fight fire, will they? Oh my god, that fire's getting way out of control. Oh my god. Okay. This thing might spread over here. Damn. I did not expect to have to worry about fire this early on. Should have figured, though. Hmm. See, this is why I wanted to build it out of granite. This whole this whole building might go up pretty soon. If we don't get a he's not gonna be able to put this out. Pretty much pointless. So yeah, um, we just really are gonna have to hope that it rains, I guess, or else this whole area is gonna be burnt. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wait and see what happens. Nothing I can do. I could try and... I guess I could hurry up and try and replace the wall with granite, but that's not going to happen. Because we don't have the replace stuff mod, so I'd literally have to, like, deconstruct it and then reconstruct it. So it's not going to work. Not in the short time we have. Eventually, we will do that, but... Right now, this isn't... Damn. Let's at least bring the wood in so it doesn't get burned up. Oh, thank God it's raining. Yay. Whew. I was a little worried there for a second. All right, so. Build. All right, yeah, we can put it back in the home zone now. That was a little frustrating there. Fire? Where's the fire? Oh. All right, so we're good now. Ooh, exotic goods trader. We'll take it. We actually do have a little bit of silver, so what the hell is this dead body doing in here? Oh, because I told him to put... Oh. Um, Alright, we're not going to put human bodies in this stockpile. Just animals and stuff. Yeah. That's better. And in terms of this one... Well, crap. We do have to allow fresh, but I guess we just won't put... I don't know. We'll, we'll sort this out later. If I... Can't tell him any... Oh, I'm still struggling without some of these mods, but all right, prior to us hauling that, I just want it out of our home. Okay, let's see here. We do have some plasteel, don't we? I'm going to sell that insect jelly. Not worth much, but... Mm. Well, there isn't much else going on here. I'd love this thing. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to buy that. That could be a lifesaver right there. This, uh... This trainer has some interesting stuff. Or this trader does, I should say. Alright, there we go. I like that. Larson, force equip, buddy. 
Heck yeah. Alright, so we just need to get our little electrical station repaired. Oh, and that's what I was going to do when that fire went off, too, is I was going to build some power conduits over here. Hmm. Crap. Um, no? Let me get this out. Let me see what we're working with. Oh, okay. I can sneak it right through here, I think. There we go. That looks a little better. And I'm going to bring it basically all around. Well, around most of it. All right, that looks good. And we need to go ahead and give us a little bit of light in here. Boom. Okay, good, good. So for right now, once I get this converted over, we'll just turn this into a uh, little tiny production room, you know. But, or just maybe we'll leave it as the dining room since the food's in here. But we are going to move his bed. Um, all right. Looking good. Oh, I forgot all about this new addition. The chop stump. Oh, yes. We want to bring those out, too. Can we get rid of those? Yep. So now when you take down a tree, you got to take out the stump as well. It gives you a little bit of wood, apparently, but not a lot. Yeah, you get a little bit. Oh, that's cool, though. Awesome, awesome. Now, we definitely need another table, because I just saw him get, like eat right here, standing up. So let's grab this table and I'll just stick it in this room for now like I said I am gonna have a separate dining facility that'll be real nice and stuff but for right now this is good mm, okay, I'm gonna go with some wooden furniture yeah that'd be good for just now all right there's a lot of work to do so I'm gonna kind of hold off on assigning more construction just yet let him get caught up We still don't have any electricity at the moment. And I think officially we're out of steel, so let's get Larson to dig a little bit up. Come here, Larson, what are you doing? Let me see here. Probably, since we don't have to worry about food, I'm not going to do pemmican. Although I need to get my uh, nutrient paste up and running. Alright, what should we do? We've got batteries also. Solar panels might be the best way to go right now, because I have a feeling this is going to be a very electrical-heavy uh, colony here. So yeah, let's uh, let's do that next. Or first, I guess I should say. Very good, very good. And once we get enough steel, this room's going to be nice, nice and sh in good shape. Um, so that's kind of what I want Larson to be doing now. Don't worry about that floor, buddy. Get over here and pull up some steel for me. Good job, Larson. Get that power up, and we should be all connected after that. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and set up a bill. And, oh, can I not tell him to drop it on the floor? Yeah, drop it on the floor. Because we do have, obviously, we got a lifter here, so we don't need to worry about hauling it away. Okay, so now let's give serious thought to a nutrient paste dispenser. And I'm probably just going to slap it down in here. Mm. This room, right now, initially, this is just going to be like my catch all room. It's just going to be have everything and I don't like that we can do better I'm um, trying to think should I have two hoppers yeah we'll go with two hoppers all right once we get that up and running I think I'm gonna have him focus on planting some rice good he's already planting the rice awesome um, yeah and getting some berries and stuff just so we can fill that up he needs to mine, though, some of the steel. 
boy, there's so much stuff to do, especially in these early colonies. It's just, it's hard to keep track of, but I think we're off to a good start, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on this brand new playthrough. I'm, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Uh, this is the end of the episode. Now, normally I would record episodes ahead of time and I upload a bunch all at once, but I'm not going to do that with this series. I want you guys to interact as much as possible. So leave me any tips, suggestions in the comments, and I will address them in the very next episode. All right, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me guys and i will see you tomorrow have a good day